vision, a sense we all have. Eyes process, shape, color, movement. 2020 is a measure of perfect vision. Not everyone has 2020 vision, but there are aids to help us see the world. Laid to rest, we dream. Everyone dreams. Even if it doesn't make sense, they are so clear in our minds. They can be romantic, funny, scary, or sad. Back in time or in the future, they are hard to let go, and we want to go back. People were not being taught the reality of what the film business was and that people were spending enormous amounts of money and coming out of film school without really understanding the business that they're trying to be in. And I think part of that is because they're not being taught by people who actually do it. This is a, an experiment. We're not sure what's going to happen, but we've made quite an investment in you and this film program. We're going to explode your preconceptions about filmmaking. This is an opportunity to make films in a new way in these 20 days. So I don't really know what she's doing, but this looks good to me. I'm sure that when we're done with the program, there'll be a million things that will say, okay, now we know. That worked, that didn't work. Do more of that, do less of that. And I can feel your guys' level of interest and enthusiasm. I feel like we have the makings of something that can be really good. You've got to inhale all these different points of view and find your place in it. It is a cliche, but it's true. The movie gets made three times, the script, the shooting, and the editing. You will get feedback on your scripts. You've got lunch consultations. You will be learning camera, storyboarding, and lighting. Final Cut Pro session with Brad from Killer. You have to be open that it's all going to change. We do have a production shooting schedule. We wanted to meet you first or decide who's going to be on your crew. Uh, it doesn't necessarily always pay on an hourly basis, no. <laughs> but it pays on a lot of other bases. Exactly. Uh, I either accepted the way films were made right. and continue to make them, or I found another career. And the thing is, you know, it isn't just about making money and, you know, becoming famous and doing all that. It really has to be about, like, you want people to see the work. Thank you guys and good luck. And I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
Hey, Hale, you in there? Up to the edge. Waking up crazy hours to catch the morning sunrise and fighting not to lose the light and working all throughout the night. Cut! Cut! The very first look with so much excitement. Nothing to carry, just one place to be. Editing can be a smooth ride. But what if it's a puzzle too big to solve? I, I like to believe that every film has a soul. That if it's a good piece of work, there's some element of, of you that you've put into it. That's right. We put our whole hearts into it, as well as a lot of hours. Sleep deprivation and eye strain. <laughs> this just seems like some zombie land. But we keep on going. Oh my god, I lost it. I'm done. The credits went away, John. No. Frustration and deadline pressures piled on with more speakers, more events, and more meetings. But we persevere because we were determined to tell the story we came to share. Previously only inside one's mind, now is the time to share. Some of you, I, I guess, are directing for the first time. That means you're beginning to discover what kind of director you are. And that's an important discovery that you'll have to make. Making a film is just a sort of crazy dream, and it's sort of you wake up and then it's over. What I do find is when I'm working on a film, this community builds up around it. I deal with those people intensively, and then I know them. And after many of those films, I feel like I have this community of people I really do know, and that's genuine. You know, when you've been through a film, you feel like they're related to you. And that goes to every person involved in the production. You multiply that times one, two, three, four, five films. It's a big group of people, and it doesn't feel like fake. It's like, don't start at the top. Start where you do have access, you know? And that goes, that's across the board. Here in Southampton, seeds were planted. We grew and our worlds expanded. We found people that had the same vision, but in different forms. And the one thing I hope you're hearing is like, there isn't one way. And everybody who's come in here to speak is really enormously successful in their own way. And for the most part, in exactly the way they want to be. Dreams are as expansive as the universe. Even more, with other people, they just get bigger. They inspire other dreams for generations to come. They go beyond what was in our minds and our infinite impossibilities. Honestly, in the end, if you can be you, you're gonna win.
very old, and yet it is so new.